Oh, tonight, the identity of the victim murdered in a luxury high rise in lower Manhattan. Cops say it was a targeted hit of 33 year old Fahim Saleh, a tech CEO found decapitated and dismembered inside his apartment yesterday. Josh Einiger at the scene on the Lower East Side tonight. Josh. Yeah, Joe, this is a small but pretty fancy building. The elevator opens directly into full floor apartments. There are seven or eight of them, uh, one per floor. And every tenant has a key fob like this that controls the elevator that gets you to your floor. Police sources say they have video showing that when Fahim Saleh got on and select, selected his floor, the man who would kill him got on and pretended to use a key fob to select a different floor but just followed Saleh to his home and executed him. Hey guys, if you don't already know me, I'm Fahim Saleh. Friends describe him as a brash and innovative entrepreneur who started businesses in Nigeria and elsewhere in the developing world. But cops say Fahim Saleh was targeted and executed in his Lower East Side apartment, his body carved up in what sources say seemed like a professional attempt to conceal the evidence. This woman is Saleh's best friend. I think someone hired a hitman. That's just my hunch. Saleh lived in a luxury condo on Houston Street on the Lower East Side, where Monday he used his key fob to select his floor in the elevator. Surveillance video shows a man wearing black, carrying a bag, following him on the elevator, acting like he selected a different floor. But when they arrived at 7, where Saleh lived, the man followed him off. But one of the neighbors heard screaming and very loud noises when this happened. When Saleh's sister buzzed the apartment yesterday to check on him, police say the assassin might still have been in there using a power saw to dismember the body, but was interrupted and ran down a fire stair. It's just such bizarre news that no one would believe this is happening. This is crazy. Yeah, police uh, have been tight-lipped about information they've developed in terms of a potential motive here. They've been uh, very carefully poring over the victim's business files and his computers uh, with an eye toward finding something there that could unlock the mystery of what happened to him. They also do, of course, have surveillance video of the suspect who was wearing a black mask, but so far police have opted not to share it with the public.